In this video, I'll show you how to fix the issue where you're unable to send or receive emails in Outlook. So there's a couple of things you can do to fix this. The first solution is you want to click on the drop down next to your inbox, and then we just need to scroll down and select Outbox. Now, if your sent emails are ending up in this Outbox over here, it could be due to the fact that you're trying to send an email with a large attachment. So if this is the case, you could try removing the attachment and resending the email. Sometimes this solves the issue. Now, if that doesn't work, the next thing to do is click on File in the top navigation, select account settings, select account settings. Then you want to double click on your email address, click on next, and then just press done. You can then close out of this window and then you'll need to restart the Outlook application. Once Outlook's restarted, click on the refresh icon in the top left hand side and check to see if that's now working. Now, if it's still not working, close out of the Outlook app, click on your start menu and search for services and then click on the services window. From here, you just want to scroll all the way down until you see the Google update services, which is these two here. And next to all of these Google update services, you want to make sure they're disabled like this. So you can just double click on each of these, change the startup type to disabled and press apply and OK. And also do the same for all of the Google updaters. So as you can see on my computer, I have four of these services and all of them are disabled. Once again, you can try launching up Outlook and checking to see if that's now solved your issue. If it's still not working, head over to your start menu and search for control panel and click on this. Make sure view by is set to large icons and then click on mail. Now, next to profiles at the bottom, click on show profiles. And if you already have a profile set up, then just click remove and then go and press yes. Now, what you need to do is click on add and go and create a new profile name and press OK. And now what you'll need to do is re-enter your password for your Outlook email. Once you've entered your password, press next. And that should then go and reconnect you to your Outlook settings, press finish. And once you've done that, you can launch up Outlook and that will have now solved your issue. So it's as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.